Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn all about moments and mechanical forces. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to know is what is a moment. Basically forces can cause an object to rotate and the turning effect of the force is called a moment. If a resultant force acts on an object about a fixed turning point, the pivot, it will cause the object to rotate. So some examples would be turning a nut with a spanner, applying a screwdriver, etc. Another word for the pivot will also be called fulcrum. So the rotational or turning effect the moment has is easily calculated from the formula M is equal to F times D, where M is the moment of the force and F is the force applied and D is the perpendicular distance from the pivot point to the line of action of the force. So here we have an example. What we have to do here is we have to calculate the moment if a force of five newtons is applied to a spanner 15 centimeters long. So we have to calculate this force here. We know where our equation is the moment is equal to force times distance. So now all we have to do is work it all out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna list down everything that we know. So we know that the force is equal to uh, five and we know that the distance is 15 centimeters so to get that into meters we'll divide by 100 and therefore we are left with 0.15 meters so to calculate the moment it's equal to 5 times 0.15 meters is equal to 0.75 for that force so the moment is that equation there so now let's look at it in another example. Now we have a lever which is pivoting on point A and it's balanced as it is. So it's in equilibrium. Now the first thing that we have to do is we have to set up which way our forces are going. So this 100 newtons is pushing down. So therefore it will create a clockwise motion. So that will be our positive. And this force over here will be pushing in the opposite way. So this will be anti-clockwise. So that is going to be a negative. So what we need to do for this is basically we need to start off by saying that. So we are going to say um, our clockwise motion is going to be positive. And then we are going to have our values here for moments. And because it's balanced, it's going to equal to zero. So now we know that the force times the distance to the pivot is going to give us this side over here. So we'll start with this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have 100 times 350. And then what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna go onto the other side. Now because this is pushing down and it's going the opposite way, it's going to give us a negative value. So it's going to be negative F times 600 is equal to zero. So now what we can do is we can simplify. So firstly, I'm just going to get rid of these two points over here. And then what I'm gonna have is, I'm just gonna have uh, 350. So one times 350 is uh, on this side, we will also have a negative uh, F times six is equal to zero. And so if we keep on breaking that down, that's still gonna give us uh, 350 and we are also going to have negative 6F is equal to zero. So now we have to rearrange this. So we are going to say uh, 6F is equal to 350. And then to find F, we just need to divide. So we are going to say 350 over six and that will leave us F is equal to 50. 8.33 newtons so now what we have done here is we have found this area here all right and so that will be helpful for the next part of this equation so now what we've done is we have now found this part over here so this is going to be 58.33 newtons going down over there but what we need to find now is this horizontal component. So let's say we redraw this triangle here, okay? And I'm gonna have this straight line which represent this. We have our force which is going in like that, 
All right, and we need to basically find this side over here. We know that that angle is going to be 45 degrees. This is going to be a right angle. So now we have H over here. We have our opposite over here and we also have A over there. So by using trig, now we can set up our so katoa. So basically what we are going to be using is this one here. So we are going to be using cos and this is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So to work this out, we will have cos theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And we know that the angle in there is 45 degrees. So we are going to say cos 45 degrees is equal to 58.33 newtons over h and so now we have to rearrange this equation over here so now what we need to do is we need to rearrange this equation so we basically have to times this by h so now we're left with h cos 45 degrees is equal to 58.33 newtons and then again now we have to get h on its own so what we can do here is we can say h now is equal to 58.33 newtons over cos 45 and if we answer that correctly then h is equal to 82.49 newtons and that is finding out the horizontal component in there which is what we need if we only do the first part of this to find out the vertical component the question is not complete so anyways guys i hope you learned something there that was a quick tutorial on moments and force thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time